God, all the earth sing the glory of God's name. Give the Lord to glory's praise. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds. Because of your great power, your enemies bring you before you. All the earth worships you. They sing praises to you. They sing praises to your name. Come to see what God has done. The Lord is awesome. Thus says the Lord of the hosts, 
God of Israel to all the exiles who I have sent into exile from Jerusalem to Babylon. Build houses and live in them. Plant gardens and eat what they produce. Take wives and have sons and daughters. Take wives for your sons and give your daughters in marriage. That they may bear sons and daughters, multiply there, and do not decrease. But seek the welfare of the city where I have sent you into exile, and pray to the Lord on its behalf. For in its welfare you will find your welfare. This is the word of the Lord. The second reading is from Luke. On the way to Jerusalem, Jesus was going through the region between Samaria and Galilee. As he entered a village, ten lepers approached him. Keeping their distance, they called out, saying, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. When Jesus saw them, he said to them, Go and show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were made clean. Then one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, praising God with a loud voice. He prostrated himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him, and he was a Samaritan. Then Jesus asked, Were not ten made clean? But the other nine, where are they? Was none of them found to return and give praise to God, except this foreigner? Then Jesus said to him, Get up and go on your way. Your faith has made you well. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This tradition of our church of recognizing folks with long-standing membership, I think it goes back to the tenure of when Al Williams is the pastor. Or one of you old-timers ready to, long-timers, uh, to be able to confirm that. Um, and so we are going to um, hand out certificates to those members. And then Lori Ward, um, if she falls asleep during the sermon today, it's because of many reasons. One of which may be that she was putting finishing touches on this slideshow um, last night. She's been working on it for a month. Because we recognize that so many of us have moved into the community, and yet we had church experiences. We've been active in our faith for a very long time. And yes. so it's to try to capture some of that as well. But we'll begin with the certificates, and um, we'll recognize that um, Dorothy Struck, Dottie Struck, who could not be here today, has been a member for 43 years. Irene Morgan, who is here today, has been a member for 45 years. I'm going to distribute these certificates in just a moment. Lou Du Bois and Judy, it was in October, 49 years ago, um, that you joined the church. Uh, do you have any memory of, of how it is that you happened to join at that particular time? Uh, we transferred from Union Presbyterian Bob. We were married there, and then we came, came to here. Okay, closer to where you live. Yes. Yes. And Irene, do you have a memory of when you joined the church here? Do you have a memory of when you joined? I, I came when I was five years old. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the, to remember that is pretty good. <laughs> That's great. Uh, Fiona Malcolm uh, has been a member for 52 years. Gail Bernard, who's now in Florida, has been a member for 52 years. Cheryl Benoit, for Cheryl Wilclo Benoit, for 53 years. Uh, oh, Sue De Lorenzo is here. You have been a member for 58 years. You joined in June. I'm gathering that's when you made your confirmation. Do you have a memory of, of that particular period of time? <laughs> Bill Wilklo has been a member for 59 years. Judy Peterson, uh, I believe that in worship today, you are the longest um, member who is present. 60 years. Don't look so tired as you shake your hand. You have a memory. Who was the pastor when you joined the church? You remember that? I was a mess. I, I remember that. Like just yesterday, questions 
say yes. I mean, well, I'm, I'm glad you have lived through the trauma <laughs> of the confirmation <laughs> class and the examination by the session, and uh, we're glad you've been with us for 60 continuous years. Uh, Priscilla DeGroote has been a member for 66, Lorraine and Jim Thomas for 70. Um, Laurie, as you prepare to hit the wrong button, but don't do it yet. I'm going to hand these to you. Well, I, I wanna, I'm going to do this a little bit differently than I have in the past. I did not put music to it because I wanted people to comment as we go along. So, so I'm just going to page through it. I left some of the history um, chart the history pages in from a, a presentation I did for the 175th or the 225th anniversary. Um, because we have at least five members here that grew up in this church. So, so I left some of our, our church, our church history um, slides in also. Um, but, but I thought we could um, um, give comments as we go along on these instead of uh, music. Um, so, so we'll just page through, uh, um, and, and if you have any memories or comments about any of these, uh, please uh, speak up as we go through. So there's, there's a, I bet you don't remember that, Sue. <laughs> that Someone's happy. There's the angels. <laughs> My mother made those outfits. Oh, she didn't want to stop it. Yeah. I'm going to stop her in church. Philip D. Lorenzo. I'm going to amplify some of the comments. Okay. So, uh, okay. Millie Bush, uh, the late Millie Bush, the mother of Sue and Judy, made those angel costumes. Well, we still have them. <laughs> They're historic. And I left these in because this is what our sanctuary will look like in a few weeks <laughs> as we begin painting again. And 1987 was the, probably the last time uh, things were painted in here. <laughs> It'll look like a workroom again. I'm sure we will have uh, scaffolding in here again. Hey, Robin, do you want to say anything as people are reading through this? Uh, just that church is in Poughkeepsie, or was in Poughkeepsie, um, Trinity Methodist Church. It burned down, and I have the date up there. I know exactly. Right, yeah, it was an iconic church. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I used to drive past it. I mean, it stopped me in the Methodist Church shortly after I graduated high school, probably. And they joined up with the Presbyterian Church, not the, the Methodist Church out on 
Oh, going out. 376? Yes, yes, that's nice too. Thank you. And at that time, my mom ended up taking my elderly aunt to a church, so we kind of lost touch with the Trinity Methodist folks. But the picture on the bottom is my grandmother standing up with her arms folded as usual. <laughs> And our minister, Dr. Davies, and the cute one is me. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm kidding. My sister is the one looking sideways, and I'm the one looking kind of towards the front, I guess. So you're in the foreground. Yes, yes, yes. And the other two ladies, I'm not sure who they are. But my grandmother was very active in that church. Probably after she got married, she looked at the Poughkeepsie from so so did you live in Poughkeepsie? Did you? I, yeah, yeah. I grew up in Poughkeepsie. Not, not city, but town. Uh -huh. Yeah. I what grew was up. the close to the fire? I don't know if they ever determined that. I mean, I, I can remember. Oh, I remember it. And the question was, was, what was the cause of the fire? Yeah. I have no clue. So yeah, I remember being very traumatized when that happened because I always, you know, that was like kind of like just the home base for me. I mean. You know, not that I still went there, and it became the River Church. Um, and I don't know much about that church, but yeah, that's that's where I went. <laughs> and your next church? <laughs> yes. And when I was in high school, I went to Franklin Roosevelt High School and to my high park. So I had a lot of friends from Hyde Park, and one of my friends, Missy, who I've unfortunately lost touch with, but. She got me involved with this church group, this uh, youth group. And we went to a mission trip to Haiti in 1972, 73, around there. And we painted the pew that a small church in the Haitian mountains, um, the village of Darbonne. And part of the time we spent in Port au Prince, the capital, when we first arrived, we spent a couple days in Port au Prince at a church and they had like a like a dormitory type type place and out there. And then towards the middle of the time we were there, then we went up to Dorbonne for probably another couple of three days and we painted the pews in the church. And that was up in the country and I mean everything was all thatched huts and it was like very foreign to me. It didn't look like Hyde Park or Poughkeepsie. <laughs> and then for the remainder of the time we came back and spent in the Quarter Prince. So it was very interesting. That was the first time I flew. <laughs> I was very excited. That's a beautiful wedding picture. Yes. <laughs> and then. <laughs> now, is that the one you can't see? Is that the Holy one? Holy Trinity, yeah, it's yeah. 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 up on the hill. Yeah. That was uh, yeah. Benny's family's church. And since I wasn't really affiliated with the church at that time, and I didn't feel a close connection to the one my mom was going to. You know, we went with his family's church. So did you have to be a Catholic to get married? Yeah. yeah. No, I don't have to be a Catholic. No. Usually you... No, they did... Are you sure you're married? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. I think I'm more married than... Uh... Still married? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, 43 years. Do you want to say anything else about your marriage? <laughs> <laughs> not really. <laughs>
her younger brother was supposed to stand up with her, but the, the pastor wouldn't let him because he was only six. He was seventeen. Yeah, he had to be eighteen. He had to be eighteen. But you were sixteen. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So something. <laughs> Something's a little wrong with that. And then the other picture is her 25th anniversary picture, and uh, there's listed some of your uh, church memories. Do you want to say anything about your church memories? <laughs> Any questions for Irene? Do you want to say anything? No, he was a good man. That's all I can say. Yep. <laughs> we had a lot of fun together. Yep. All right. Oh, he's that right. cute little boy. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's cute. Right. This is me. I was baptized in the church in the upper right hand corner. Um, my most vivid memory, and I'm uh, um, uh, reminded of Earl in this experience. So, so it was a big deal to go up and, and read a scripture lesson in this larger church, which is in Elmira, New York, which is where I grew up. And within there, uh, my first time I had to speak in front of the church was a Christmas pageant. So I had to walk up three steps to the top of the pulpit, not too just different from that. Except I was in the children's choir, at a choir robe on, and I never had a robe on, and I tripped. And I fell right out of my face, right? And so the entire congregation was just laughing, laughing. Right? Of course, I was probably seven years old, younger than Earl. Uh, at the time. So I was just crying up there, mortified uh, by that experience, but uh, I guess I've overcome it. Uh, so, so that was my uh, first church. Um, second church, uh, down in the lower right uh, in Waverly, New York, we moved uh, when I was a teenager, so uh, that's where I was in my high school and college years. Upper left hand corner, First Presbyterian Church of Poughkeepsie, that's where Lori and I met and were married, and then of course uh, here, and uh, good experiences here over the last. Uh, and this is the church I grew up in in Eureka, Illinois. So I went to Sunday school there. I wasn't baptized till the day that I was confirmed um, when I was 13. I, I keep forgetting to ask my mom why and why I wasn't uh, baptized as a baby, but I wasn't. And I remember singing in the choir, and then my sister and I. Um, led the children's choir, so so I would play piano and my, my uh, older sister would direct the, the kids singing. And then my grandpa died when I was a senior in high school in 1981. And then uh, my grandma used um, some of the some of her money to buy a piano in memory of him and she wanted me to play to dedicate the piano. So so I remember playing a piano piece to to dedicate that. And, um, and my parents still go to that church. And this is, this is the church uh, that we got married and we actually met. Uh, Tom and I met at church in the youth group. Um, I taught Sunday school and I was a deacon there. And we got married there in 1989. Andrew and Shannon were both baptized there. And one of my uh, memories was meeting Reverend Al Williams who attended there because he was retired from here and he would always sit in, uh, in front of us and Shannon would be belting out the glory pottery and she, he'd always just turn around and just look at her and he loved <laughs> watching her sing, sing, sing the songs that she knew when she was free. <laughs> so that's, that's us. Well, by the way, that picture was from the Gipsy Rural Cemetery. <laughs>
Chris Lawyer to play organ there because um, the organist decided she needed a Sunday off each month, and so she taught me some uh, how to play organ. This is small. You were in high school? And I was in high school, yeah. Right. What was that organist's name? You know, I can't remember. I tried to think. I was going to say, I because we owe a debt of gratitude. <laughs> That's what you see. You covered much of the Presbytery. <laughs>
Easter walk around town. We followed the Catholics. Sue is the saver. And our kids, our kids don't want 